So they're introducing UV robots and disinfectant tunnels. Installation of decontamination tunnels. It's literally everywhere. So it seems UV light can kill viruses and up to 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. So very short wavelength UV called UVC uh, is effective in killing germs. So it could be used for water disinfection, air disinfection, many other things. So UV can be literally used in all applications of disinfectant and cleaning. Let's check out some of the clips. Actually UVC that penetrates through the walls of viruses and bacteria and renders them useless. It's harnessed in a strong way that it can actually, it just pulses and kills really on contact. It's that fast. Now that's badass that that company created these cleaners for shoes that will disinfect and clean shoes within like a matter of like a second of just impact of the light. And that's what we need is just systems where it's like you're just scanning through and it's just like, bam, dead. All the bacteria, viruses, germs, everything just zapped and dead. Compared to these disinfectant tunnels and trucks and things that are spraying disinfectant spray everywhere, which is not healthy, good for us or the environment at all. Alcohol-based cleaners can cause surfaces to deteriorate over time which is a problem for protective equipment, but that's not the case with UV LED. Exactly, bam, disinfected cleaner, alcohol-based cleaner, just wiping and spraying and all that. It's not gonna be good for the environment, not gonna be good for the surfaces, not gonna be good for you. You shouldn't be inhaling that, it shouldn't be touching your skin, it shouldn't be getting in your eyes, it's just bad. But UV light, on the other hand, is good. So we can use that for everything else, but probably ourselves, but we could probably use UV light to treat ourselves too, because UV light and small doses are okay and it just depends on the severity of the uv light and even then like you probably just go boom like one second and you're probably good to go i don't know about that at all but like your health and like uv and stuff i've heard like there's been research from 50 years ago that they've been using uv light to treat things and stuff but it just all depends on the uv light there's different spectrums and stuff but i'm not a doctor so don't take me uh don't take my word for that don't start taking uv lights and treating yourself or anything like that but uv light can be used for all sorts of different things though it can be used for absolutely everything else like you know like your phone the air the water absolutely everything and anything that you can think of and I don't know, honestly, personally, I would much rather walk through a quick UV scan than actually being sprayed with disinfectant or chemicals. Because, like, yeah, like, even, like, the airport have those x-ray scanners, and there's scanners everywhere. Even when you walk through Walmart, there's, like, those scanners, and I'm pretty sure they all have frequencies and stuff. So, you know, even your cell phone gives off frequency, even, like, headphones, everything. So, you know, yeah, I would rather just you know do the simplest thing than doing the most drastic which i think is like the chemical spray and that's just my own honest opinion i thought i'd educate you all on that that they're using tunnels absolutely everywhere now like disinfectant spray and they're actually using tanks and spraying everywhere too That does not look good for the people or the environment at all. And if you see that last clip, there actually is some woman on a little like scooter or something and she's got sprayed with a cannon of chemicals. Did you see the person on the left hand side that completely got engulfed? Let's see it one more time. Damn, that would suck. Just imagine getting like water blasted with a bunch of disinfectant spray. Just... <laughs> so disinfectant, bad. UV lights, 
good. That's just my thoughts and opinion on the matter. And I just thought to educate everyone on what's going on around the world that they're trying to use disinfectant spray to battle this, but usually they could just use UV light to actually take care of it. And that's where, just like in my other video, I believe and honestly think that the future is going to be UV lights. Everything is going to be UV lights. They're going to have UV light tunnels. They're going to have UV like automated surfaces for like your shopping carts to go through, for your food to go through. Everything and anything thing should just be like put through like a uv disinfectant like thing yeah you know just like to make sure that it's like you know sterilized clean and disinfected we're living in a day and age with so many people on this planet and everything and so many like things going everywhere that it just makes sense to you know rather take the chances of viruses and everything spreading that we just disinfect and clean everything because like i know like the human Im immunity and immune system is supposed to build up and everything like that but it's one thing where you live where you live and your nationality and like your country compared to like some other place like in africa or like you know china like you know it's completely different at like you know environment and everything there's different bugs or viruses and stuff like that and that's the thing is like in order for your immunity to be you know strong and get used to that or fight those it would have had you had had grown up there and that's the thing is that where somebody local there might get like you know uh you know cut they might get infected and they get, might get a certain virus or disease and it might not affect them uh as bad because they've lived there and been born and raised where you as a tourist go there and then you end up drinking the water or get infected with bacteria or a virus or cut yourself and you end up getting like very sick or almost dying or end up dying because your immunity isn't used to it and that's the, th the problem with viruses uh, spreading around the world but yeah it's just my own thoughts on the subject i just you know i just that's just my own opinion people are gonna either agree or disagree and you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below this is like an open channel like i'm all open to hear your comments and suggestions and i read everything you all the hate all the love and i really support and really appreciate it all so please like this video comment down below and click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all and peace out snoochy booches everyone and i got a video coming out soon about my conspiracy theories about what may actually be going on.